Now we have the issue of infrared or far red, when it's like just, just at the edge of being in the infrared spectrum, where cameras are very sensitive, so we have to start putting a lot of ND on the, in front of the cameras, and yet the manufacturers are trying to get the red in, and so you have this dance back and forth. I'm gonna just stop this way down so I can get an exposure. So I'm stopped all the way down to a T22 in order to be able to get a normalized exposure. This is just your generic ND. You can see where we've shifted the color, right? It's heat, it's red. The, the Tiffin filter is giving a very strong cut to stop IR, it's anti-red. But you can see that while we do get the shirts to get black, we've also shifted a bit green. Uh, this is Schneider's formulation. There is a slight color shift. This is easily color correctable to get yourself dead set to neutral. Format Pro Stop IRND, and it made it pretty neutral. I mean, if I look at that back wall, uh, it, I don't really feel that color cast very much at all. I take the lens and I just do the stop down effect. A nice neutral image. When we use just straight ND, and that's really red. And here is the Tiffin, a little bit of a green cast, but thoroughly correctable. And you can see that the blacks, especially of the shirt on the right, are all there. Here's the Schneider, pretty flat, pretty even. The color cast actually somehow feels a little bit more noticeable. Try the format. A little more neutral. I do think that you can see the difference of the color of the, uh, that, that bag that's in the front. So looking at the colors that you get out of this camera, uh, it looks pretty neutral, if you will, when I'm blocking as much IR as I am visible light. But what happens when I let a lot of IR through, I'm super saturating. Here is Tiffin's. Doesn't seem so green. Interesting. Kind of lines up a little bit better on this camera. This is where Tiffin having such an extreme, strong IR protection that made the images go green on other cameras. Here, it neutralized it very effectively, and where Schneider perhaps was a little more right down the line on other cameras, it's not quite enough here. Let's see what the format does. It's pretty neutral. Is it exactly dead on? I don't think it's quite exactly dead on, but it's pretty good. There is your neutral, quote unquote, uh, just by stopping down the lens on the red camera. Straight ND, totally different kind of color. It's IR sensitive, but this goes uh, very purpley color. It's a very different color response than you get compared to uh, the other cameras that were going a reddish brown. That is that full Tiffin exposure correction that was very effective on the black magic, but not on the red. The red sensor is different. Here is the Platinum IRND from Schneider. Still got purple shirts. Totally different kind of look. I have the format. Still not quite accurate, but I'd say it's more accurate than the others were. Less of a, an extreme color shift. This is a hot mirror. This is specifically just reflecting the heat. What I'll do is I'll combine this with a straight ND 0.9 to get to our same filter strength. It's a little greenish still, but this is kind of greenish in the way that you could correct it, kind of the way that we were seeing with the other cameras, the way Tiffin was going with its correction. That's stop down just on the lens, so we're blocking IR as well as blocking the visible light. Straight, straight ND, no IR protection added whatsoever. Not bad, Canon. Pretty sweet. So what happens if you put IR and D 
in front of a camera that doesn't really seem to need it so much. This is the uh, Tiffin IRND. You can see it's actually not a huge color shift. Very neutral camera. There's the Schneider. Pretty dead down the middle. Really very minor color shift going on. Here's the format. Now, when I do this one, I can see a tiny shift in the sign, but it's very neutral, very straight in. But it's pretty amazing that the standard ND worked just fine. There is no replacement for certain physical pieces of glass put in front of the lens, in front of the sensor. There are certain things that you can do there that you just can't make happen any other way.